to Expedition Dogma. My name is Jamie and I will be your host for this evening. Just before we start, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button so you can be notified when upcoming videos are coming out. I've noticed that over 70% of you are still not subscribed so please make sure to hit the subscription button to help you know when the next episode is coming and also for this channel to grow. Also, please share it with your friends as this will help to broadcast to more people so they may know the truth of the Dogman. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to tonight's episode. Dogmen, Native American Connections. Many people have theorised that the Dogman is in fact a Native American creature of folklore, just like Bigfoot. But is this truly the case? Possibly, possibly not. Let's look at this for a minute. In Native American history, they have cemeteries and their own burial grounds, which are said to be guarded by windigos and also dog-headed creatures. But what's a windigo? Well, a windigo is an evil spirit that takes the form of a wolf and can attack people for no apparent reason whatsoever. And if you look at an image of the windigo, which I'll place here, and you look at the picture of a dogman, the similarities are quite disturbing. But there are still unique differences between the two. For one, the dogman is flesh and blood. Yes, it's possibly an interdimensional creature, and hopefully within the next week or so, we will be having a special guest on, Jordan Heath from America, who will go through the interdimensional theories with us. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The dogman is a flesh and blood creature. The windigo is a spirit. And in Native American lore, they do feature quite heavily. And it makes you wonder, as to why dogmen like to hide in cemeteries and especially in the trees surrounding them. Well, this is where we get into the paranormal aspect of the dogmen. What is their true purpose for being here? Are they here to protect the dead, the guardians to the underworld or to heaven, whichever one you choose to believe in, or are they guarding portals? The answer to this is very strange. I do believe that dogmen, they follow the ley lines. And for those of you who don't know what a ley line is, a ley line is basically the energy of the earth. And normally you find these around water, which would explain why dogmen like water. And also, if we look at the ley line and the portals and cemetery theory, dogmen seems to have the ability to appear and disappear at will. And it's the same for Bigfoot. For some strange reason, not only can these creatures blend in, like we talked about in Dogman, the real life predator, which I urge you to go and check out if you're new to this channel, but they also seem to just appear and disappear in a puff of smoke. In the coming weeks, we'll be talking more about the Beast of Bray Road and the LBL. But I do want to mention quickly the Beast of the Bray Road. If you look at a map of the sightings of the one that the news reporter did, you will see similarities as to where these sightings have happened. They've all been on the old cemeteries of the Native Americans. And many Native American people believe that these dogmen guard their, their bodies and help their spirits go after death. It's weird, I had a weird experience once under hypnosis where I was coming up into what people would class as heaven and there was two dog men walking either side of me and I think realistically we cannot rule out the spiritual as well as the paranormal with dog men because yes there's the theories out there that they're alien beings there's the theories out there saying that they belong on this planet as they are the natural inhabitants along with Bigfoot and other cryptid creatures but, the, but like I mentioned in the last video are dogmen demonic? I don't truly believe they are personally and I do personally believe that these creatures yes they're flesh and blood but is it a case they're actually more advanced than we are to the fact that they can just disappear of their own free will I believe these questions we need to get out there and explore 
because there is so many theories and so many studies going on at the moment and reports coming back which liken this creature quite a funny metaphor liken but that also takes us back to another video where wolves are not what you think please do check it out but it also takes us back to the theory that these creatures are very much flesh and blood and that and that they're basically more advanced than humans and the reason I believe about this one is because if you look at the Anunnaki and how many many millions of years ago they lived and how they appeared on the planet was <coughs> was this creature already there if you look in the Bible in the book of Enoch it talks of giant creatures it talks of hybrids is it a case that these creatures have been around for as long as we remember and even before is it that they'll have a place in heaven in the different realms of it these questions I would love for your comments to be put down in the comment section below and we can have a great discussion about this but to me if we look at dogmen it's the same as anything spiritual as soon as we find an answer to a question we then find more questions and then answers then questions and it's a never-ending circle so i think we need to look deeper into this but also the native americans they also have something called the skinwalker and the skinwalker is basically one of their witch doctors who's gone bad and for some reason he's been given the ability to transform into a wolf Many people as well have theorised that dogmen can change from people into humans. That's one theory, but to me that is complete bollocks. Pardon my language, but it is. Because I personally believe that these creatures are flesh and blood. And werewolves, like we mentioned again, in Werewolves Are Not What You Think, are creatures of the mind. They it's basically like I said it's a mental disorder there is no way somebody can physically transform into a wolf that's why I think personally the Native Americans I'm probably going to get blasted in the comment section for this but this is just my personal thoughts and everybody's entitled to their own I believe the Native Americans over exaggerated certain parts of it and they knew of the dogmen they knew of Bigfoot so they created stories so they could keep the children out of the woods on a night time or whenever their hunters were around and this is where they got the story of the skinwalker from i'll talk about skinwalkers in a separate video to this because to be honest with you they are very interesting creatures and i do believe they require a video of their own so my final thoughts on this are native americans connected to dogmen to a degree, yes they are. I do believe they are. As there is many witnesses and stories going back to their section of history. But do I think that's where dogmen originated from? No. I think dogmen are a lot older. I personally believe in one or two theories and I'm still on the fence as to which one it is. They're either alien creatures that we'll put on here to co-inhabit with humans or theory number two which is the most probable to be quite honest especially if you look back at history and also to why the government is covering things up i personally believe they are real living creatures that are the native species of this planet and we was put here to co coexist with them and to be honest with you the government know the truth on this one and this is why they're covering it all up i will also do a separate video within the next few weeks as to the government cover-up story but i'd be interested to know your thoughts i've been talking for too long i'd be interested to know your thoughts on what you think about the native americans and their connection <laughs>